Okay, so we're going out to Flat Rock. It's cold out. We know this because we have jackets and hats on. Um, <laughs> we're let's go down this way and we can see it. We're driving my new car. It's amazing. Uh, Caleb's iPod just died, and uh, so now we don't have any music. At least I didn't pay for it in the background. Um, so we're going to that thing right there that you can see in the distance, and it's probably we're guessing. Of physics and throwing a rock off and timing it, that it's probably 300 to 350 meters. And it's technically in Is that flat it? rock, I think. That's fucked. It's large. And there's a deep, uh, deep water soloing spot there, too. We're gonna have to call in the troops to go look at it. If you wanna go deep water soloing, give me a call. 579 wall. Suck the balls. So get the rope. Yep. Holy shit. <laughs> Good one right there, it's safe. Huh? Quick release. Too much rope and not enough sun. That's what I says. What the hell? What the hell? I shouldn't curse. People are people are gonna hear this. It's a beautiful day in Flat Rock. We're uh, pooing our pants on this wonderfully long piece of uh, conglomerate rock here. I wish I had a geology degree and I could tell you about it, but uh, I got a climbing degree and I know that you can climb it. Uh, we're halfway down maybe and uh, just thinking that from here up is probably a good way to go as far as getting some, uh, some climbs established here. There's two pitches above us basically, one short one and one is probably 40 meters when we just run. Yeah, I'd say, yeah. All right. And uh, basically I can't get any pro to put a, an anchor in to uh, connect the next rope, so Besides the fact that there's a sea of seagulls down there that will probably attack us when we go down. So we're going to bail from here and uh, get the hell out of here and go drink some coffee. 